Kermaya, good. Um, and I agree with your remarks, Senators. Uh, the COVID numbers at the moment are worrying, and it's natural that government will feel they could send mixed messages by lifting some restrictions. We're all familiar with the expression, if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. But honestly, I think we're at the stage that if we don't try to give people an inch, they'll run a mile. Um, I also speak as a mum to two young children who, like others, are des desperately needed to go back to school, but who are still suffering with the current ongoing restrictions that have taken a toll. Having one family to me meet up with outside to play in restricted numbers would make a world of difference. For sports or activities to resume in a highly controlled outdoor environment instead of what's happening at the moment, and to allow people an extension to five kilometres for some breathing space. So I'm talking about a balance of being conservative but compassionate, based on controlled outdoor environments. I also think we could maximise our available outdoor space better. The parks and amenities within our five kilometres are under severe pressure. The Phoenix Park and St Catherine's Park on different sides of Dublin 15, to name two. And we can take pressure off them by utilising other outdoor spaces. And I'm specifically talking about Dublin Zoo and other am amenities like Photo Wildlife Park that are able to control numbers entering their gates by the are in a way the public parks just can't. So Dublin Zoo can keep its indoor facilities closed. It runs a, a one-way system. It's pre-booked, the benefit of which is that it's roomy and there's lots of distance between families and it could open only for people within their radius of travel. And as an organisation, it is struggling to survive when we could be making use of local outdoor controlled attractions. Sometimes, leader, we have to, to, to get a little, we have to give a little. And I think that is an example. Thanks a million.